Hello everyone, this is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, eager or lazy loading. Let's give one, uh, let's give just, uh, first, let's give an intro, okay? What is the lazy loading or what is eager loading? And uh, suppose now we have a customer. Okay. And uh, when customer, and a customer has a uh, address, okay. And here we have address here. Customer has an address, and uh, this address with the customer relationship is a one to one. Okay, and also we have another class which is the books, okay. And uh, for the books here we have. Uh, uh, one too many and which you have a collection of books owned by the customer okay now if I write a query em dot create query and the query I give here is just from customer okay when we just from customer and uh, for all the two one relationship, for all the two one relationship, two one, uh, it's too thick, it's thinner. Okay. For the two one relationship, by default, when we load a customer, Hibernate will load all the address associated with each customer. Okay, so which means when he will have a select statement to fetch all the customer. And also for each customer, he will have another select statement right away to fetch for the address belongs to each customer, like where customer ID, CID equals something. Okay, so this is a two one relationship, which is eager. E A G E eager loading. Okay, so no matter in the future, if no matter you use uh, this address or don't use it, by default it gonna you load all the address for each customer. Okay, and uh, the other case is uh, if I have a many to one here. Okay, no matter is uh, many to one one to one for all the two one relationship. Okay, it's gonna be eager loading. So when I load the customer, it will gonna load the address. But for the books, which is the collection, okay, the too many, it's no matter it's a many too many or one too many, too many relationship, by default, it's a lazy loading. Lazy loading means when I select from the customer, it won't load the books. Only when I using each customer, see dot get books. Okay, only when I use the books to get the books, and at that time, then Hibernate will make a select query to fetch all the books. Okay, and the where customer ID is uh, equal something. So this is uh, the lazy loading. This part is a uh, lazy. Okay, only when you retrieve books. Then it's gonna issue a select statement to load that. Uh, and if you want to change, like a one to one here, I want to change it, not using eager because by default it is eager, right? What you can do is you can specify the fetch type. Dot, uh, what's the thing? Uh, lazy. If you want to use in lazy, by default it is uh, eager for two one relationship. And if you want for the too many relationship, if you want to be eager, you also can config, right? dot e a g e r okay you can configure like this um when we do performance tuning lazy and eager is not the actual problem because lazy and eager tells when to fetch the entities or objects most of the time 
the performance has a problem is because how to fetch the objects, not when to fetch the objects. But it's good to know we have a lazy and eager the options, and we can decide when to load the objects. Okay, and also uh, after this video, I'm I'm gonna talk about another option provided by uh, Hibernate, uh, the annotation called the uh, lazy collection or the extra. Okay, but this video, uh, we have something remaining is to show you the lazy and eager in the code. Okay. Uh, here I have the basic demo setup. Uh, uh, in the customer, currently I only has a one-to-one -one relationship with address, and this is unidirectional. In my address, I don't have anything. Uh, don't have any reference or association in the address. Okay, and now uh, when you do the performance tuning, okay, or debug, when you do the performance debug, make sure you have this one. Show SQL is turned on. So you are know when the queries happened, what kind of query Hibernate actually generates. Okay, Re really recommend you do this one. And let me remove this one. It's not needed in this case. Okay. So here, uh, uh, I have book customer address, and here, um. I have some populated customer, okay, which I have three customer and I have three address. And each customer has uh, one address, like a uh, customer has address one, customer two has address two, customer three have address three. Then I save them, okay. And uh, here I made a query. Let me write from scratch to show you, okay. Uh, I have lazy eager this uh, method, and now we create a typed query. Which is the customer, okay? Customer. Let's just use in query equals em dot create query. I just using from customer, okay? And then I have to give a type here, customer dot class. And the result is gonna be a collection customer, which is uh, customers. Uh, equals query dot get result list okay and now I do a what's the now I do a loop a loop is a list oh, sorry sorry for customer c customers okay and what I'm gonna do is I just get a customer uh, c dot get address okay and uh, to for the debug, I want to add uh, some one, two, three to make sure where the query is actually happened, right? And uh, here we give another one, and uh, here we give another one, and here we give another one, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So that's it. Let's run first. Okay, let's run. And in this case, we didn't do any configuration on this two one relationship. By default, it's gonna be eager loading. So when we load the customer, it's gonna also load for load the address for us. So you will see multiple queries between two and three. Excuse me. Okay, and uh, take a look at. We start from the one. Okay, between one and two, nothing because here we just create a query. Create a query won't make a hit to the database. And now between three, two and three, we get a result list, right? And to get all the customers, but you can see, between two and three. Two and three, we have uh, four select statement. The first one is this statement: select all the customer. You can see here, I have selected customers here. And also, since when since this address is uh, eager loading, when we get uh, all the customers, it will also load all the address for us. So between these uh, two and three, you will see three other selectment which is to fetch the address for each customer. See here? 
e well address id here use using address id because from the customer they already get all the address uh, id then here ah yes uh, because the join the column right the join the column is on the customer so when we get to the customers it will get all the address id then he issues three statement to fetch each address into the uh, cache okay later on later on now when we loop four and five when we do a loop four and five four and five he just get all the addresses from the cache and don't make a hit to the database you can see between four and five no what's the thing no queries just directly grab the values from the cache okay this is one and uh, if you don't like this kind of uh, if you don't like this eager loading what you can do you can do a uh, lazy and let me show you how to do the lazy okay when we fetch equals lazy which means when we query for the customer it won't make a queries here okay only when we actually using the address okay it will make a query so after i change this one to be lazy between two and three you only have one selected statement only selected for a customer but now between four and five when we trying to get the address and the hypernet will make a query to the database one by one okay and uh, let's see this example here good and uh, take a look at this one now after we change it to be lazy between two and three two and three you will only have one select statement to select the customers and now we're between four and five each four and five because here I have a loop okay between four and five every time i want to get the address for a particular customer it's gonna make a query that is select from address see here three times so this is uh, lazy loading and eager loading in one to one relationship okay and let me show you another one which is a too many uh, re, uh, too many relationship which is many too many and uh, one too many okay here i have a book here okay book and uh, now i want to add something which is a private collection of books Okay, uh, I will comment this one to make sure all the queries made is because of customer and the books. Okay, I will comment this one. And also, uh, later on, I will comment on the app or something. Okay, um, uh, now I, want, I will add a convenience method for it. Okay, I create add book method to add a book into here. So now let's make a change. Here we were using one too many. And here I will have a cascade type, which is when I save customer, it will also save books. Okay. We can just using persist for this demo. So after I add books, I will change something inside the uh, app. Okay, here I don't set a, a customer, and instead I have to set the books for each customer. Okay, so let's create the books. Book new book. Okay, new book has this. Oh yes, name. Uh, let's call. Uh, hibernate one okay a hey. book string name right ah oh, I, I imported the wrong book this one I imported the wrong book okay now it's correct and I will create multiple 
Okay, customer one has three books. Okay, customer two has two books. And customer three also have has two books. Okay, then I persist customer one, two, three. And here I using a, a what's the um, cascade. So when I persist the customer, it should also persist the books for us. Okay, for next one, here I don't get addresses. Now I will get for the customers. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, books. Okay. So that's the things I change. And let's see how the uh, SQL is being generated by Hibernate when we uh, make a query. Okay. I have a sore throat now. Probably after today, I'm gonna take some rest. Okay, now let's see. Um, between one and two, one and two, no queries, okay? And between two and three, which is uh, get the values for the customer. So between two and three, we have a select statement, is which is a fetch all the customers. And now, when I uh, loop this customer and trying to get a books, which is between four and five, see here, between each of the four and five during loop, it's gonna make a query to fetch all the books, see here. But based on the custom ID, it is gonna make a join, in a join, okay? And to fetch all the books, see here. This is a for uh, the books for the customer one, you can see three books, okay? And this is the books for the customer two. And uh, it also have a select statement. And here also have a select statement for the customer three. So uh, for the two collection, too many relationship by default, the uh, it's a lazy loading. Lazy loading means only when we need the values, it cannot make a query to the database to load all the objects, okay? And uh, uh, if you don't want to have a lazy loading, what you can do is uh, add a fetch, right? Probably you already know, fetch type, which is eager. And uh, when we make a change, it's gonna happen is uh, during the time when we select the customers, it will also make a select statement to select all the books. So between four and five, you want to see the select and between two and three, you will see more uh, select queries being uh, issued. Okay, see here, between two and three, previous own has one select, now has uh, four. First one is find a customer, the other three is find all the books belongs to each customer. Here we have three customer. And when we do a looping between four and five, they just get everything from the cache, not uh, do a query again. So this is the eager, basically, uh, this is the basic uh, eager loading and the lazy loading. And we're gonna have several things uh, in another video about the, about more about the lazy and the eager loading, okay? So one more thing I want to mention again, talk again, which is uh, lazy loading, eager loading, in most uh, cases is not the problem of the performance. The performance problem mostly happens because of the bad queries, okay? So when we do a performance tuning, we should uh, consider about uh, how to fetch the object, not uh, actually not when to fetch the object, okay? So it's good to know we have a lazy and uh, eager option if you want to, to make some changes. But normally we just leave as it is, okay? So that's it for this video. And uh, if you want to learn more about uh, lazy and eager loading, we're gonna have another video follow the, uh, follow, following this one, okay? So thank you and see you next time. Bye-bye.